shit. Spread the word. The natives set snares in the clearing. They must have planned for us to pursue. God damn it. They weren't retreating. This was a... On the radio, see if you can raise the facility. Last signal we got said they were under attack. Nothing. It was just a few minutes after the natives hit us outside the ruins. Then they retreated away from the facility. This was a coordinated thing. They're trying to spread us out. Tell them to fuck this up. Here I go. Blow the time cable. Constantine's not gonna like this, but it's better than getting picked off in the dark. I'm gonna check it out. I'll be right back. Stay alert. Something's up. Something's not right. I'm gonna look around. Roger that. some time.
Prophet and his followers have been traveling under cover of night, a crooked trail around the border of the Eastern Empire. I do not know where they are headed, and I suspect they do not either. But they know we will not let them rest until this heresy is purged. The common folk of the Borderlands give him shelter, and I find it curious that none who have aided him will tell me anything of use. Even when I threaten them with the wrath of Trinity or touch the edge of a knife to their throats, they stay silent. They die, never betraying what they know. The Prophet has a curious sway over people. All the more reason he must be silenced. be cold. An arrowhead carved from bone. This looks like Mongol craftsmanship. This was a whistling arrow. Mongol archers would fire these over their enemies to frighten and confuse them. A sort of passport. Whoever held this spoke with the authority of the Mongol Empire. It reads, By the power of eternal heaven and order of the Empire, whoever does not show respect will be guilty of an offense.
Byzantine war galley. How the hell did it get down here? Mongolian. They passed through here. I must be close to the lost city. A Byzantine brooch. Enamel work is beautiful. This portrait has been defaced. It looks like it was depicting the Prophet. They must have had to hide their faith. Maria Dula is trapped. The ice gave way. Her spine snapped in two. No matter. While I hope to wield her cannons against the false prophet, we will continue on foot. I have six of the Order of Trinity's best, and we have been stockpiling food and supplies while the sailors starved. They do not know it yet, but they will give their life for the cause. My men and I will find our way out of these icy caves and continue on foot. Before the ship was swallowed by the ice to the south, we heard music. That will be our first stop. But first I must rest. The cold has sunk into my bones. And I am drowsy. Just a little sleep. Fugitive Prophet has crossed out of the Empire and now turns north. I'm now in unfamiliar territory. The Order of Trinity was clear. I am to pursue the False Prophet and his adherents to the ends of the Earth and wash away his heresy. 
but I believed I could overtake him months ago. Still, he eludes me. He crosses Khazar land and across the Caucasus mountains. Here, I'm at a disadvantage. I speak a dozen tongues of the Empire, but in the hinterlands, I'm often left to communicate with little more than a sword. The Prophet, it seems, speaks every language, as if he were born to them. enemy. That remains to be seen. You killed those men back there. I killed them to survive. I suspect you did too. How long have they been here? Days, at most. The invaders took many of my people prisoner. You should leave this place before it's too late. I can't do that. I came here for something important. So did they. If I see you again, I'll put an arrow in your throat. You and I are on the same side. I hope I can prove that to you. What's going on down there? who live out here, and they appear to have been here for a very long time, living in isolation for decades, maybe even centuries. I notice elements of her dress, small adornments that would not have been out of place in the Byzantine Empire. Could they possibly be descendants of the Prophet's people? How much do they know about the lost city or the divine source? It's clear Trinity will do anything to find out. I'm afraid that whoever they are, they're in grave danger. Let's hope the old proverb about the enemy of my enemy remains true. Just got word. Constantine is on a. We're gearing up. I was on the first flight to Siberia to secure the old Soviet installation now. More are arriving every minute. Constantine gave a speech to the new boots, and I stayed in the back to watch. Love hearing him speak. Never gets old. I was never much for believing, but it was just words before this. It's something more. It's truth. I was broken once. Trinity is making us whole again, giving 
giving us a purpose. A new world awaits. Even those who don't believe will have a part to play. Way down from the prison. We need to get this mess in order before he arrives. Hey, can anyone hear me? God damn it, we gotta get comms back up. Never seen anything like that. Crazy son of a bitch. Rushing three armed men with an axe? I don't know how they managed to take one of them alive. Who the hell are these people? Initial recon said there was an old village up in these mountains. But they expected farmers. Thought they'd surrender without... Hold up. I'm gonna check it. I copy. Where the hell did this come from? <sighs> Came from this way. more of them arriving.
see anything out by the fences? Nothing. But we didn't see the first ambush until they were already inside. They knew the layout of this place. Shit, this was supposed to be a routine op. The path is never easy. The Trinity expects us to walk it all the same. They're here! Let's see. I know I've taken some jobs of questionable legality, and I know you're not happy about it, but I couldn't pass up this contract. Been trying to get work with Trinity for years. They're discreet, the pay is obscene, and they always have opportunities. Now here I am, and I already want out. We're at an abandoned Soviet installation in the middle of nowhere. No one's telling us low-level contractors what's going on, but... I think I might be helping some seriously scary people get a nuke or something equally awful. Honestly, that's the best case scenario. Ping me back if you get this. I've carved out a secure channel on the network. For an operation like this, you'd think they'd have better security, but I guess that's why they hired me. The Red Army is coming. I've been tracking them for weeks, watching as hundreds of men build the iron monstrosity across the ice. Men have died, their frozen bodies left scattered in the tundra. No rites of passing, no burial or burnings. 
These new invaders are cruel, godless men. Do they come seeking the precious metals of the mountain? Or like so many before them, are they drawn here by the divine source? My people must again prepare for war. I left you in charge here. Yes, sir. But we didn't expect such heavy resistance. You were to be my eyes. I expected you to see. You must know what is at stake with this operation. Yes, but no. 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 You don't. No. How could someone like you... <laughs> Go easy. Go easy. Fear the suffering. Our goal is within reach, but we must be vigilant. If we succeed here, a new world awaits. One of our own making. Constantine, you're needed back at the prison right away. We've got a captive who might know something about the artifact. Remain faithful. And you will share in the glory of the Divine Source. Oh God, please. What do we do with him? No. Nobody touch him. Looks like we got another fuel leak. What the hell happened? This thing is 50 years old. It looks like the valve failed. All right, let's get it shut. We can't afford to lose any more after that attack. Okay, I got this. Hold that part steady. Who's Just that? Need some more leverage. Not seeing any more that. fuses up there. Not sure we'll be able to find spare parts out here. Ah! 
more Soviet propaganda. Night won't prevent us from working. Constantine is here, the man who tried to kill me in Syria. He's violent, dangerous, but worse, he appears entirely devoted to his misguided beliefs. I seem to have a habit of running afoul of religious zealots. I suppose it all goes with the territory. His men on the radio mentioned a prisoner with information. Could it be one of the natives I've encountered? And if so, what does he know? Trinity will not be kind in their methods. Perhaps I can find him. Find out what he knows. Earning the trust of the locals might prove useful. <laughs> <laughs> 